Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to go over AMC stock. I'm going to talk about why is it up so much? What is all this hype and how far can it go? And what are my thoughts of when AMC can crash? I'm actually going to go over technical analysis as well as fundamental analysis. I am an investor long term and I'm also a day trader. So I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this. Because uh, this thing is getting a little bit overextended, and I'm gonna go over some of the technical stuff as well as the fundamentals, so you guys can have a better idea to make better decisions with, uh, I guess you could say, with some of your decisions regarding trading or investing in AMC. Now, as a reminder, guys, I am not a financial advisor. These videos are for learning, entertaining purposes only. Now, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to down below to the YouTube channel let me share my screen and let's get started okay guys so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna quickly share my screen uh and show you guys what i've been up to with uh amc stock uh now it has not just been amc stock but because amc stock has been moving uh by force uh, you know the reddit uh wall street bets uh, community we also have had other meme stocks like uh like blackberry cost gme uh, Bath Bot and Beyond, and even Workhorse has all been moving because of, uh, and the main one is AMC. So going over the technical stuff, first of all, what, I, what I'm looking at technical stuff. Now, I do see uh, using a technical indicator, uh, the Bollinger Bands, it is overextended. Uh, it's definitely trading above the range. Uh, if you notice on this day, it had a pretty nasty sell-off a uh, huge sell-off actually like a uh, from like the 70s to the 40s at the $30 move uh, really quickly, by the way. Um, and it did bounce off from that, but it's again, the bounces, the bounces are getting weaker. So some of the things in terms of technical analysis that I'm looking at, I'm looking at the volume. If you guys can see the volume hasn't really increased. If anything is going down. So it's telling me there's not a lot of new buyers. They're willing to buy these levels. So there is definitely kind of like a little warning sign, a little red flag that this thing could actually fall off or sell off pretty soon. Now, if I were seeing like large green candles or even larger volume candles to the upside, I could definitely tell that this thing can move. So for example, looking at these candles, you see how the increasing in volume candles, of course, causes huge move. But now we're getting a decrease in candles in, in terms of volume which gives me an indicator that this thing is starting to top out. Not only that, but it hasn't been able to create a new high. Uh, so it's, again, those are red uh, warning signs. They're telling me right now that this thing, it, this thing is coming to an end pretty soon. Uh, not only, of course, AMC, but if you look at other, other meme stocks like BB, again, they all look very similar in terms of the volume. Uh, you know, you also have a cost again, looking very similar, looking very, very weak. Even G GME did break out, but it literally got stuff. It got sold into. Uh, so there was definitely a huge sell off volume. I actually did trade, Dre traded it today and actually I went long and took some profits, but it had a huge sell off when AMC started to kind of go down. So that's what I'm looking in terms of the technical analysis. Um, to me, it does look, look overextended. I have been day trading AMC both on the long side as well as the uh, as a short side. Uh, but again, this all have been day trades. Uh, these are some of the day trades I did short it here. Uh, but I've also went long, actually went long on this day right here. Uh, yeah, went long here on this squeeze right here. And actually even went long. There's another time I went long. Yep here as well. So I've been taking advantage of the volatility, the short squeeze potential and things like that. So I kind of want to mention that as well. So for day trading is definitely the range is there. Now for long-term holding, like I mentioned, it's starting to look over, over, overextended. And again, we're not getting any more volume to kind of tell me that, hey, this thing may have more room to go out. So I think before it makes a higher move, it needs to pull back to some support even maybe 30, maybe 30 could be a good support where new dip buyers are going to come in to really keep pushing this. But that is pretty much my thoughts, guys, on the technical analysis. Now, going over from the mental analysis, this is what I think, guys. 
Uh, this has been probably the best opportunity for, for the, uh, for, uh, I guess, the CEO, the chairman, the long-term holders, the big guys to really start raising money. So this is something that um, I'm also concerned about because we pretty much uh, on uh, February, uh, excuse me, June 3rd, AMC released a statement. It completed 11.55 million share at the market equity offering, raising $587, excuse me, $587 million in additional equity capital. Now, uh, just to kind of go over the press release really quickly, um, pretty much, let's see, AMC raised approximately $587 million of new equity capital before commissions and fees at an average price approximately at $50.85. Um, commenting on the capital raise, AMC president, CEO Adam Aaron said, bringing in an additional $587 million of new equity on top of the $658 million already raised this quarter results in total equity raise of second quarter of $1.24 billion, substantially strengthening and improving AMC's balance sheet, uh, providing value and flexibility uh, to respond to potential challenges, capitalize and attract the opportunities in the future. So what this means at the market, um, you know, uh, offering pretty much says that AMC could raise money by selling into this, into these moves, into these pops. And if you look at it, they have been selling into it and they're looking at a, an average of 50. So of course, a, a lot of, uh, especially after the announcement, June 3rd, that's actually when we had a huge sell-off right here on June 3rd, you know, cause they announced that. And, uh, and of course, uh, a lot of uh, long-term holders didn't like that. Uh, and that, that was, we had, we, we had this humongous sell-off right here. Now we did have a bounce, but the bounce did not, has not, did not sustain. It was continued to sell off. Um, and then we had, you know, a couple of days of consolidation, a couple of days of move up, moving up. But again, the volume hasn't shown that, you know, the new buyers are coming in to really support this. Now, in terms of how this all started and, and why AMC is up in the first place, because it was, it was trending on, on pretty much on, on Twitter. And of course, you had game, uh, excuse me, Wall Street Bets community on Reddit pushing it as well. But there was a tweet. Uh, hashtag AMC 100,000 trending on Twitter as AMC stock investors get hyped. Um, and pretty much, um, you know, uh, it started to get a boost on Friday. And this is May 14, by the way. So May 14, uh, we're talking about back, back over here, May 14, right here. This is May 14, uh, right here, when uh, AMC stock was barely trading at, uh, let's say, high of like $14, you know? So it's definitely, if you look at the price right now, it's at $55, $55 right now, you know, it's, it's gone pretty much like almost four times, actually more than four times uh, the price. Um, and that was back again in May 14. So this is pretty much all, pretty much what was started, you know, AMC moving. So the push for AMC stock today comes along with the new hashtag AMC 100,000. This is yet another short squeeze attempt from investors at AMC Entertainment. The goal is to squeeze out hedge funds and send the price of stocks to soaring to 100,000. The hashtag is currently trending on Twitter uh, with loads of AMC apes advising others to buy and hold the stock. Let's take a look at a few of those tweets below. So it's pretty much just, it's pretty much just tweeting and, you know, tweets and social media. AMC, we break and can stay above 15, then 20 will come easily. We stay above 20, then et cetera, et cetera. So, it's just people really are, um, I guess you could say, really are trying to push this. And again, this was back in May 14, May 13. Uh, so the move pretty much has already happened. Now, has it gone to 100,000? No, but it got, it went pretty big, you know, four times, four times the money. So a lot of people who bought in May, uh, early May, who was able to kind of push and squeeze out shareholders, uh, excuse me, hedge funds, are most likely already taking some profits now. And, you know, and just looking at the charts and also the volume. So, and, and again, it's not just AMC. We're talking about BlackBerry as well. You know, it's, it's failed to make more, more volume highs. Um, and we're kind of looking at, you know, you're looking at pretty much like a, this, in terms of the pattern that I'm looking at, is this kind of pattern, like a pump and dump? Because it's pretty much, it is a pump. You know, <clears throat> it is a pump. You know, we had this crazy pump on AMC. And again, it's soon, it sold off, eventually sold off. And, uh, and again, we're starting a new one in, on, on, on AMC. 
And eventually that one's going to sell off as well. But in terms of the signs, again, we are seeing signs and this thing could sell off pretty soon. Uh, so this is pretty much my thoughts, guys. Uh, so let me know what you guys think, guys, about these uh, about AMC stock. What are your thoughts that you guys are holding? Or, or, or what are you looking to do? Now, let me know if you have any questions on the YouTube comments down below. Don't forget to smash the like button. Again, as a reminder, guys, these videos are for only for learning entertainment purposes. And again, also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do post new videos about crypto, NFTs, stocks, letting you guys know what's moving in the week. So hey, don't forget to subscribe down below and you guys will hear from me soon. Take care.